Good morning everyone, Paul Daniels here and what I fix daily, we've got an A1466, I'm not sure which board it is, it's come in with some kind of fault, I'm not actually sure what it is, I suppose that would help if I check, uh, kind of saves running around, wondering, it's something to do with the screen intermittent and things like that, sometimes powers up, sometimes doesn't, sometimes fan goes crazy, we don't seem to have a mag, this isn't showing up, but uh, yeah, we don't appear to have any sort of life on the MagSafe. Try the other way around. Nothing at all. All right. So we've got no 3V42. Let's get it open and have a look. And a situation report on all the kitty cats. They're all doing well. Kittens are growing up pretty damn fast. Have to start separating them from the mother so the poor mother can get a chance to recover herself after all she does have a broken pelvis and needs all the calcium she can get amongst other things they were just the kittens were just too young before for us to not have them with the mother and so we kept them all well fed Okay, uh, this is pushing up one of the batteries down. Okay, the battery airbags haven't deployed. I have a piece of rice in here. Why do I have a piece of rice in here? I can't believe it, there's actually rice in here. Yep. So, I suspect that means we've got liquid damage. Disconnect the battery. Mm-hmm. It'd be funny, you know, if that was jamming the impeller and then causing the computer to get upset. All right, let's get the other things out of here. We do not want our SSD in there. The battery is disconnected. And this is a 3437. It's got the long connector there. The 165 is the shorter one. Yeah, 256 gig unit. Hope they back up their data. Let's take the battery out. It just makes life easier. It also prevents stupid mistakes by me. Like leaving the battery connected when doing something else. If there's one thing I'm if there's one thing I've learned, is that you gotta always stop yourself from doing stupid things. Well, the liquid markers on the battery aren't off, so that's a good start. It's a little dusty, not unreasonable. Let's just have a look around. So certainly with rice being jammed in there, that's a, and I can see some sort of, there's a bit of crusty goop in there. Oh, yeah, look at this. Yep. Yeah. Okay, looks like something splurted across there. Took out that. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, that's all good. Chances are the damage is going to be on the... The real damage is going to be on the other side. Because, yeah, well, well, this is annoying that it's corroded. Um, and it is on a switch mode converter it should not be enough to quite cause that drama unless it's caused a short well, let's have a check well, it's all over the place but it's definitely not a short all right let's get this board out and have a look oh more rice oh yeah there we go uh, the rice really got into this one. Looks like the fan picked up the whole lot. 
Nice game. What I still don't get is... I can't really see any... None of the markers have gone off. And I see corrosion on that connector. Holy dooly, I see lots of corrosion on that connector. Ah, jeez, sweet Bridget. That's bad. Well, that there is completely toss-worthy. I can only hope that we can refurbish that connector in place because... Uh, what has this been worked on? That soldering looks... Oh no, it's just corrosion. Alright. So this is our challenge. Can we... fix that? Uh, weird that it's just on that spot. Let's have a look at the back because for all we know it's even worse. Trying to see if that ball is corroded or not. No, that looks good. Hmm, something possibly edible there. I'll throw that in with the rice. So this clock circuit. <clears throat> yeah, looking a bit corroded. Well, it would seem our primary problem is that connector. I really hope I don't have to try and take that off. Let's have a look what that resistor is. PP3V3S5. And you should... Ah, oh, you're just a link. Alright. Uh, <coughs> looks like I missed the last minute or two of my conversation because I was too busy on the board view. But uh, basically what we're going to do is just hot flux this up and take it from there. Yeah, I'm really hoping we don't have to replace this because trying to replace it just causes... Yeah, it's a risk with this connector on the battery type connector, not the battery, the power connector. And then things on the other side. The amount of heat to get this off is not insignificant. What we want to see is some fizzing up. What we don't want to see is melting. So I'm sitting here at 420. I need 25 air. I've got a low amount of air because I don't want the flux being blown crazy around the place. I just want it to heat up. It may actually work. I do have a slight concern about this pin here. Around about the middle. Goodness knows, what are you? You're Second pin, you look like a power pin, that's for sure. Second pin after the major ground pair.
3v42. So that'll explain why we didn't get anything coming up. So hopefully we'll have cleared that out enough. Uh, I suppose we should have looked at that uh, capacitor that we saw. I had the... yeah. Give you a clean up too. You're probably going to want some more air than that. I'm not worried about melting plastic on this area. The hardest thing about here is getting enough heat down onto the board because of the ground plane sucking up all the warmth. Solder, fresh solder over that. Come on, iron, heat up. Uh, it's acceptable. Right, let's see if we can rig up things and get ourselves a, uh, a green light. Hooray for having spares. Uh, plug you in. Let's see how we go this time. Still no green light. No, oh, we got a green light. Oh, we got a fan spin. Haha, uh -huh. it was just a bad connection. Alright. Yeah, it's gonna do its cycling thing. Right, let's put it back into the machine and see what happens. See if we can get a booting system. Let's see, I need about another, mm, I don't know, 50 of these jobs, and finally I can buy myself, I'll put the down payment on a house. Went to the bank the other day and said, I would like to buy a house. And um, I've got this money, and the house is in a good spot. And it's well priced. The market's depressed, so, you know, I'm going to be a bit ahead overall. And the bank said, no, because I didn't have quite enough deposit. So I was like, damn it, you know, it can be very frustrating when you're a sole trader or working for yourself, I don't know what it's called in other countries, when you, know, you try to do all, everything by the books, but you still get beaten up by the banks, I suppose that's a universal thing, it's just frustrating, so I've been trying for a long time to get everything set up, but uh it seems like every time I go to the bank, their demands change slightly. And that's with multiple banks, by the way. That's just the way it goes. Yeah, I mean, you can complain about it, like I'm doing right now. But uh, it makes diddly squat difference to the bank. The bank's like, yeah, well, go ahead, complain about it. Nothing's going to change, buddy. I think I'm just getting a little panicky as I approach 50. Had some hiccups and uh, yeah, starting to wonder whether I'll succeed or not. Uh, hopefully we succeed with this. Uh, let's see, should I put the... 
I'll put the Ubuntu boot on it. It's quicker than waiting for it to sit there flashing a folder. So I just need to find the option key. Option is there. Whoa. What the hell? That just sparked like crazy. As far as I know, that shouldn't happen on a MagSafe. Genuine one, too. I've got no screen, I've got no bong. What's going on? Oh, seriously, I don't know how that happened. That is bad. Is that another shit? You can see that mark. Well, it seems like we've got a boot. I'm a little concerned about how that MagSafe jumped out and shorted. Might have to get a new daughter board just in case. Maybe there's something wrong on there. Something slight protruding, perhaps. Yeah, this is a known good working one, so I'll give that a shot. Man, I hope that hasn't messed up my MagSafe too. I need that. Well, no great big short that time. So I'd say maybe there's a bit of an issue in this one, or probably if it's been corroding out before, it may have had some sort of surface on it, contact pitting or something, I don't know. Come on, up you come. Yeah, looking good. So we got a fix. So in the end, it's uh, it was just that uh, connector. What was that J9500, the 3V42, some sort of liquid corrosion or something got in there. It was interesting that it was just located inside that connector there. It's always amazing how the liquids can end up in places. Um, other than that, I'll replace the DC inboard just as a precaution and obviously along with the cable. But looks like we've got to win it. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.